Hi there everybody, this is Darren from Treasure Life Family Farms and today we're working on the second part of our uh, F-150 shocks uh, project. So we're on the uh, passenger side here, and the unit that we need to replace is this big thing with the spring and the shock, and it has three bolts basically up here that we need to take off. And so to get that, we peel this little thing here away, and we should have enough room to work in there. And then down here, there's a giant bolt down here that goes through and we just pop that out and we're all done in our dreams I uh, want to check on how this actually works and people that have been doing it are popping out these uh, this is steering arm and popping out over here this uh, sway bar arm all this stuff so that this can drop down a long ways and uh, allow this all to work. I didn't see them. I don't remember them popping this apart, but it seems like if you did, then this would drop down, maybe limited by the sway arm. I don't know. Uh, and then this would go up. But anyways, what has to happen is eventually you gotta kick the bottom out here and the whole thing will come out because this will be out of the way. And uh, we'll keep working on it from there. But anyways, that's what we're uh, working on today. The new one's waiting over here in the wings. These are, now I forgot, maybe 175 a piece. Something like that. So they're not too cheap, but not killer world expensive either I can only imagine what it takes to call the dealership and tell them you want these done so we're gonna get to it we're gonna start trying to crack some stuff apart we we'll use some penetrating oil on everything and I did buy the sockets it's, uh, I need to I'll tell you when I get to them because down here there's one giant socket on one side and a different size giant socket on the other side so I'll tell you what those are when we uh, get to them so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'm going to start tearing her down. I'll give you an update once I get some stuff apart. Okay. Uh, every time I get to something I wish I knew, I want to tell you. So here's the thing. Uh, these bolts, there's three of them. One in the back. I'll show you that in the last. Uh, you want a long 15 uh, millimeter socket and a uh, yeah, I did it with a ratchet. I gave them a little shot of uh, penetrating oil. And they came loose with a ratchet. I didn't even need a long bar. So there's that. Now the one in the back, if you try a long socket, you, you bang up against whatever this is. That thing back there. And so you can't get it in there. And if you did and you start turning it, you're going to make the situation worse. So I stuck a 15 millimeter box end on it and I broke it loose but then you're in painful territory because you're talking getting barely any grip at all each time but I've got this shorty a real short 15 with the ratcheting thing in it and that's going to save the uh, day on this one so I'm not saying you have to have that but I'm just saying it's going to be pretty tedious without it so there's our update I should be able to get this off now and Keep uh, marching. I'll be back next time I hit something like that that you need to see. Thank you for watching. We'll be right back. All right. So we've run into a, a bit of a situation here. And that is the bottom nut bolt, the 30 millimeter socket thing uh, at the bottom of the strut uh, is either super stuck or it's just torqued on there that hard. 
But I was using this ratchet, which is nothing special. And I had on here this um, extension and one more, this uh, one more short one. And I couldn't move it at all, so I grabbed onto a piece of pipe and stuck it on the ratchet and <laughs> gave it the, uh, the gusto. And the ratchet, I'm sure, is done for. It doesn't do anything right anymore. I can still change. I still change the direction, but it's it's on there stiff, whatever that is. So that's wrecked, I'm sure. So I went into Home Depot, said, "Hey, my extension Husky brand extension broke." So she told me, "Go find the same one on the shelf and bring it up." So when I went back to see what's on the shelf, we got this set, and it's got this exact one that I broke, and this. Uh, I don't know, a longer one, and a five and a ten inch. And so I said, well, we got that. And then they had the same one in a breaker set. Impact set, I guess it is. Uh, it's just black. Or, and then they had a single of the five inch. So I handed her all that and said, um, you don't have the little one by itself. You just have it in the set. Oh, sorry about that. GoPro battery kicked out, so I might have lost my spot there. But anyway, she gave me, as a replacement for this being broken, this whole three uh, set of three. So I bought the impact one. <clears throat> so, And then I also bought this thing. This is a half-inch breaker bar. It's a 24-inch ratcheting breaker bar from Husky Lifetime Warranty. So they're going to warranty that thing out if I can wreck that too. So that's going to be the perfect thing to grab onto that nut with. And if this stuff all breaks again, we have this. This is a 3 quarter inch set. It's only a 19-inch uh, bar, but I'm guessing that just <laughs> gives you enough room to put it. Big long piece of pipe on there. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me so much. That's funny. Um, the inch and three sixteen socket. I did a little bit of quick math there at the uh, Menards because that is just a hair larger, like thirty point oh one six or something millimeters. You can uh, Google the math on that. But between this, that socket, and that extension, I'm thinking we can. Probably, <laughs> probably lift the pickup off the ground by the time we get enough uh, pipe on the end of that <laughs> instead of uh, anything breaking. But So anyways, I got this. We're going to go start pulling on stuff. First set's going to be husky stuff because then if any of that breaks, then I'll just walk it back in there and tell them. I am not broke. And as long as that stuff holds up, then I don't need the three-quarter set, and I'll take that back. That was a hundred bucks for all that stuff. And the prices, I believe, are clearly mismarked on the uh, rack for the uh, socket and the extension. They were nowhere near twenty-three dollars a piece, or twenty-seven or whatever they rang up. So uh, that's also a different problem. <clears throat> so there we have that. I'm gonna go uh, pull hard and hopefully get the nut off this time instead of. Breaking everything up. Stay tuned. All right. Hope I'm not breathing too heavy for this operation, but the long bar, ratcheting long bar from Home Depot Husky with this big chunk of pipe on it. So we're, <laughs> we're running about, I don't know, three or four feet of bar. And we did get it out of there. There's the bolt. There's the nut. And so we broke that loose. Took about all this big man had to give it. I was trying to not wreck that husky ratcheting uh, long bar. So I was being tough, but reasonable with it. Eventually I just said, okay, we're moving on to the three quarters if she breaks. And I give her a big pump. And there was a snap, and the socket flew off, and everything came apart. 
and then I checked to see if I blew up the goodies on that ratcheting end here and it seemed like it was good so I put it on there again just by itself and give another pull and but it, it, what had happened is it broke loose so now I could continue breaking it loose and I give it one more pull on that and then I stuck this uh, rigid half inch drives on there and <clears throat> things pretty well came apart at that point so bring the big tools guys we need them all right, we'll keep working on this. Like I said, I want to show you the important stuff and that's part of it. So on we go. Okay, uh, kind of another milestone moment here. Uh, let me uh, try to point out what I've been doing here. So this uh, comes off of here. And once that nut comes off, which it actually turned out fairly decent, really. Then, uh, a couple little hammer strikes on, on this right here, and that popped loose real nice. So that was good. I've got my three bolts out, and if I had to do over again, I probably would have left one nut kind of barely hanging on the front of here. Because now... The, I've got the steering control arm off. Same thing as the one I just said. Uh, the nut came off fairly well. Then a few hammer strikes on there. Not too bad. This one was harder. This is the uh, stabilizer link. And it turned hard because the weight of this thing was on it. I realized at the end because it really dropped down good after that. Uh, nut came off. So, uh, find a way to kind of take the weight and get that off and then let it fall or you know lower it down so now i'm jammed way down in there i've got to raise the whole thing up probably up into those holes get this out and then it'll all come out nice uh i wish i had a better set of pry bars but i think what we do is get something to pry here and we walk the whole thing up and enough of a pry bar here. I hope we don't have to compress this much and out it comes. That's my, that's my theory. And I can't do that while I'm holding the camera and I don't really have anything good to magnet the camera to. So let me go do that. I'll let you know how that went, but that's, uh, getting that out of there. And then the new one will go backwards just like it. So let me go give it a try. All right. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. We've got that pretty well together over there. So we're about to go back together and We ordered Eisen performance 14 by 20. I don't know what that means Supposedly they're a match for my vehicle off Amazon and this new lug nuts. So Get a Whole chrome thing instead of a nut with a tin cap on it. This is fits a 21 millimeter socket, so we'll try that. But I'm going to use uh, six of these to uh, put that wheel back on. Now let me show you what I got going on over here. All right, so at least for this side, go back together and it went pretty good. So I shoved the uh, three bolts up into the holes there and this is directional in some way. This is not, you know, fit those up there and then turn this bottom to fit. It, it fits one way. So be aware of that when you get those three holes. Maybe they don't even go in the holes unless it's right. I don't know, but I'll tell you if you were a third of a turn off, you're not going to be able to rotate this bottom to fix the problem. So just a word of the wise, everything else went back together pretty quick, pretty easy. I, uh, like I said, I shoved this up there, put uh, one nut on just a little bit, and then I worked on the bottom, put a screwdriver through it first. Uh, when I got it in there originally, 
the the whole wheel assembly was hanging a little low so I just grabbed it with a glove and give it a, a little bit of a huff and everything moved nice and it went up there and uh, I was able to start working on getting a screwdriver through the hole and then the bolt and that's all tightened up I got my control arm here uh, back together tightened up the one down here back together tightened up the part I don't have is the sway bar and that's not moving very well right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the wheel back on and then I'm gonna start up and turn the wheels uh, to the left if you're sitting in the driver's seat and probably put the weight back down on the wheel and see if that sway bar probably is going to punch up through that hole real nice we're gonna do everything slow so make sure i don't wreck anything but but i i think that'll punch through the hole a little bit better at least i can get the thread started on it and start working that nut on it and uh i believe that's going to be the key to the operation so that's what i'm going to go do next so i wanted to show you everything else before i uh uh put it uh put the wheel back on i gotta put this curtain back and i gotta take that wrench off down there and then uh put the wheel on put the weight back on here see what happens i think if i turn the the, the tire like say all the way to the left i'll be able to get in there easy enough to work on that nut on the sway arm that's the plan i'll catch up with you here in a minute after i give that a try all right uh that idea worked uh i uh put the wheel on let down just a little bit and then i turned the tire to the left and then i let it all the way down real slow and it punched up through there got some wrenches on it it's a little harder to work on with the wheel in the way but uh that did it so uh what do i have to say now so um that's probably going to be about the end of the video, unless something super interesting happens on the other side. So I'll tell you now, thanks for watching, and uh, there'll be more videos coming, there always is. And as long as nothing squirrely happens on the other side, then we're going to be all good to go. The lug nuts really felt good when I put them in there, so those would be the right ones. And with that, Merry Christmas, and uh that's the end of the video uh, unless something awful weird happens on the other side thanks for watching all right i told you i'd be back if uh i ran into anything different or weird on this side and the thing is this when i'm trying to take these three uh, nuts off those studs the one in the back was rusted so bad that I couldn't get a 15 millimeter socket on it. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, couldn't, you know, the wrench wasn't doing me any good. There's not a lot of room for wrench in there. But I did kind of look up and realize that under the hood, I could get to it with a couple long uh, extensions. And uh, I got the, the socket most of the way on there. It kind of felt like it was getting sort of on there. So I gave it a tap on top of the, uh, you know, uh, on top of the uh, extension here just to pound it down and get it nice and firm because I don't want to strip that thing off before it's time. And then I broke it free with uh, a ratchet. So now I'm going to stick the power. Uh, impact on there and just uh turn it off real nice i'm sure that nut will be stuck in that socket like crazy but uh, that's a good problem to have instead of that i don't know if i can get it down here that third that third nut being kind of froze on there i guess uh, the lines are blocking the view but um so so there's that little tip for the uh uh, driver's side on that just thinking here if I had any access over here uh, Not as good. There's not good access on you can't see anything down there stark not good access on the passenger side from the top Maybe take a look if you get in a jam, but 
that nut's pretty well rested on there or i mean it's rested in a way that the that the six-sidedness of it is pretty damaged so this is gonna work just wanted you to know that uh you might need that option otherwise everything else on this side looks less rusted you know all these uh, all these uh connection points and things look cleaner on the driver's side for, for at least for me on this one so on we go thanks for watching my little update here we'll see if there's more